What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you a cool way to flip loops and reason to create something new. First up, you're going to pick a loop, and this loop has to be a specific format. One sound playing at a time. Uh, monophonic, so it's a single instrument hits for each transient. I'm going to drag it into a reason audio track, and I'm going to time stretch it to fit the tempo of my beat here. So if I loop this and play the metronome. Now obviously this is a corny loop, but I do like the phrase at the beginning. So what I'm gonna do is double click on this clip and rather than put it in slice mode like we usually do with our loops, we're gonna put it in vocal edit mode. Yes, and now we can see the individual notes that are being played. They're not completely right or correct, but that's okay. That's just what um, Reason's audio to MIDI feature is right now. All I have to do from that point in this uh, vocal edit mode is to drag it up to another instrument. So I want to use it on these ID8 keys here. So I'm just going to drag it down. And now, whoops, when I click on this clip, I have notes here. I know this note goes here. This probably goes back up. Now I can put this on other instruments and layer it. We'll just put an arpeggiator on them. Let's try that. Gonna affect this one a little bit differently. We'll run it through a delay glitch box. That's pretty dope. Now, normally this would be a lot happening at once, but I'm going to morph between them. So we started with this loop here. And we ended up with this. This is a dope way to flip loops, layer sounds, and get creative with what you've got. I especially love this technique in uh, the Reason Rack plugin because the features across software platforms are just mind blowing. So if you have access to other software, definitely experiment with their audio to MIDI features as well. But that is how you do it in Reason. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.